Hi everyone, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a stuffed zucchini that's roasted and then topped with a delicious and creamy lemony sauce. In Greek it's known as kolokithakia yemistav golemona. It's a long word, but it's so easy to make just like most other, just like most of the recipes that I teach you. We're going to go over the ingredients and then we're going to get started. So of course you're going to need zucchini. I have two very large zucchini because this is what I found in my supermarket. Use whatever you can get. I have two potatoes that I've peeled and they're sitting in cold water so they don't turn brown. Some freshly chopped parsley, lots of it. So one onion that I finally chopped, a little bit of arborio rice, or you can use any short grain rice that you can find. I have some ground lamb meat, but you can use ground beef. Over here we'll talk about it in a little bit. I have some oregano, two lemons that we're going to juice, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, some cornstarch, chicken broth, a little bit of dill, and two egg yolks. I think that's everything. So now I'm going to talk to you about the meat. If you're using ground beef, try to get the lean ground beef, the leanest ground beef that you can get. That way you'll skip the step that I just did over here. I had a pack of ground lamb in my freezer, so I decided to use that today. It's just a pound. You need, you need actually a little bit less than a pound. About three quarters of a pound is going to be perfect, but anywhere between that range is fine. The thing about using ground lamb or any fatty meat, before um, you use it, you're going to have to brown it a little bit in the frying pan like I did to kind of let that excess fat melt off and you're going to want to drain that out. If you're going to take a look at all of the fat that has melted off, you'll know what I'm talking about. Can you see that? So if you are using lean ground beef, then you can totally skip this step by um, cooking the onions first, but I'm going to drain all of this fat that has um, burned off of the meat, and then I'm also going, not burned off, that has melted off, and it really just takes 10 minutes over like a medium heat for, it to, for the meat to cook a little bit and release all of that um, fat. I'm going to drain it out. I'm going to put this meat in my bowl and then we're going to move on to um, cooking the onions. So we're going to add our chopped onion. I also forgot to mention that I have a finely chopped garlic clove in here. You could do one to two garlic cloves. I have that in here over medium high heat. I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil to help my onions go. And I'm also going to season them with just a tiny bit of salt. This should take about 10 to 12 minutes for them to be golden and nice and soft. And then we're just going to move on to the next step by adding all the meat and stuff back in. So while our onions are cooking, we're going to prepare our potatoes and our zucchini. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to quarter these into wedges. So I have these in wedges. I'm going to put them into my baking pan right here. And I'm just going to season them with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and oregano. If everything is seasoned, you'll have lots of flavor in your food, even if it's with just basic seasonings like salt and pepper. Really, that's all you need. But we're going to add a little, a little dash of oregano for some yummy flavor. And then some black pepper. And those are ready. Now we're just going to prepare our zucchini. So what I like to do, first of all, they're washed really well. I'm going to cut them in half. So we could have two pieces. I'm going to cut this edge off right here. And I'm going to cut them in half one more time. So we have four pieces because these are pretty big zucchinis. And then I'm going to scoop out the, the pulp using an ice cream scoop. But I'm going to leave a little bit of a border around so that way it can hold its shape. Um, we don't want this to fall apart while cooking. If you don't have an ice cream scoop, you can do this very carefully with a spoon. That's fine too. That's good. I'm going to continue to do this with the other zucchini as well. And then I'm going to check on my onions. And as soon as they're ready, we're going to add the meat back in there. So this is how I, you should arrange them in the pan so that way everything fits nicely. You, you can put the potatoes anywhere really you want, just like that. Now, and this is what the inside should look like, the perfect space for the filling to go. My onions are nice and golden. Let me t show you what they look like. That's what you want them to be really nice and golden, the onion and the garlic. At this point, we're going to add the meat back in, the ground meat. I'm also going to add the zucchini pulp with salt, 
pepper, and a little bit of oregano. I'm gonna let this cook for on medium high heat for about 15 minutes until the zucchini breaks down and becomes really nice and soft. Now, if you wanted to keep this completely vegetarian, you can go ahead and leave out the ground beef and you can chop up some carrots and saute these in here, some chickpeas, um, some potatoes with the zucchini pulp. You, whatever your favorite vegetables are, go ahead and uh, cook them all together with the onion and the garlic. If you want to leave out the chickpeas and do lentils, you could do lentils in there. So really the sky's the limit, but this totally works as a completely vegetarian dish as well. I'm going to cover this and let it cook until the zucchini is soft, and then we'll move on to the next step. So I'm just going to season the zucchini slightly with a little bit of salt just so that everything is very well seasoned. Now I'm just going to take each uh, zucchini and then I'm just going to fill it with a couple tablespoons of this very delicious filling. I'm going to continue filling all of these zucchinis and then we're going to move on to the last and final step. So now we're just going to pour very carefully about one and a half to two cups of this chicken broth. If you don't want to use chicken broth or if you don't have it, if you don't have it, you can go ahead and put water. But what we're looking for is to cover um, the zucchini about halfway up so that way they cook evenly. I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil and I'm going to put, and I'm going to put this in my oven and let it roast for an hour and a half and, or until the zucchini is fork tender. The stuffed zucchini roasted in the oven covered for an hour and 30 minutes and it roasted for 400 degrees at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to show you what it looks like close up in a second, but before we do that, I just took the foil off and I'm leaving it here so it can rest a few minutes. I put my chicken broth, the remaining two cups that we had, um, in this little pot and I have it on low heat simmering because now we're going to make the lemony sauce, which is the avgolemono. I have my two yolks in here. I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of cornstarch. It's known as corn flour in Europe. So there we go. That's in there. And then I juice these two lemons. So I like lemon. I like my food to be very, very lemony. So I did two lemons, which is about a quarter cup. If you are not a huge fan of, you know, strong lemony flavor, there's my whisk. I'm looking around for it. If you're not a huge fan of a strong lemony flavor, start with one lemon and you can always add more lemon afterwards. But once you put it in, you can't take it out. So that's the rule of thumb that you should follow. Um, but if you're like me and you like lemony, go for the two lemons. So we're just mixing these uh, two, two, three ingredients up together. I'm gonna add a little bit of dill. I don't have any fresh dill. If I did, I would have chopped up some fresh dill and used it, but dry dill still has lots of aroma and flavor in it. So I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of it in here. So this is what it should look like. When you insert your fork in the zucchini or in the potato, they should be fork tender, which means that the fork should go in and out of it really easily. Roasting it prevents the zucchini from falling apart and also intensifies the flavor. Now, we can, I'm gonna take a few of these potatoes out just because I wanna add some of these beautiful juices that have just intensified while they were roasting. And I want to add them to my uh, pot in here, my little pan or pot. I'll take this zucchini out too very carefully. It's piping hot. And I'm just doing this just so that way it's easier um, to take some of the sauce out because we're going to cook it just a little bit with the egg, lemon, and cornstarch mixture. So we have or a sauce with some body in it. So we don't have to take everything out, but just kind of tip it over and get maybe three or four ladlefuls out. Perfect. I'm just going to put this back in here. Okay, so now we're going to take some of our really hot liquid, our really hot broth right here, and add it to the egg mixture, egg lemon mixture, so we can temper it. I'm just going to whisk it. Two to three ladlefuls should raise the temperature which will keep the yolks from curdling or cooking really fast and uh, having a scrambled egg mixture rather than a velvety rich sauce. Just like that. We're gonna add this into this pot and we're just gonna cook it over medium high heat for about two to three minutes. I'm also gonna season it with a little bit of salt and I'm gonna taste it. Uh, very lemony, 
very flavorful. It has just the right amount of salt, so I'm gonna leave it at that. You can add some pepper if you wanted to, but we're gonna let this cook for a few minutes just until it thickens a bit. Then we're gonna add it back and we're gonna to top it over our um, vegetables. So the sauce has come to a boil. Now this is the thickness that I'm looking for, but the, as it sits over your vegetables, it will thicken a little bit more. And this is the perfect consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it over my vegetables and then we're gonna get ready to eat this. And just like that, you have a gorgeous meal that's full of flavor and ready to serve. So traditionally, this is cooked in a pot over the stove top, but I find that roasting it in the oven just makes it so much easier to prepare. First of all, um, you can't really fit so many vegetables in a pot without layering them on top of each other and then uh, risking it not cooking evenly. The bottom ones cook a little too fast and they start to mush and melt. This, you put it in the, in, the, in, the, in the baking pan, you put it in the oven and you forget about it. The oven does all the work, it takes an hour and a half, but it's nothing that you're doing. The oven is cooking it. Anytime you roast, it just intensifies the flavors even more. Do whatever you want. If you want to make the vegetarian version, I already told you um, some of my tips and tricks on how to do that. Let me know in the comment section how you're going to serve it. I'm going to tell you that my favorite way to eat this is to mash up the potatoes and then eat it. It creates the most delicious mashed potato because the lemony sauce goes inside of them and just infuses them with lemony goodness. It's refreshing and it's light and it's delicious and you should make this uh, for your next maybe Sunday night meal or if you're having guests over. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, what you'd like to learn how to make next and uh, I will see you guys all next time. Thank you. Bye everyone.